It's Adam, now talking with Dan Mangan. Not only a brilliant musician, it's fun to say your name, Dan Mangan. Three rhyming syllable factor, yeah. Why was it important for you to play this festival today? Well, it's, I kind of, I was a late comer to arts and crafts. I, I've only been around for three and a half years or so. And, uh, you know, obviously I, I kind of came out of high school and was listening to all the bands uh, on this label. And just to be involved now and to kind of think back to how impossible that seemed when I was younger uh, is pretty cool. As an artist, you kind of exemplify uh, the best way to kind of grow. It's been a very slow, gradual process coming from very humble beginnings. I started doing it the way that uh, I think most bands should do it, and that is just like playing to nobody, nowhere. And I feel like if we had had some massive blow up right out of the gate, I would just be a nervous wreck about maintaining that kind of momentum. And the way that it's happened for us and the band, it feels really solid. It feels like the rug can't be pulled out from under our feet. It was a long tour cycle for Old Fortune. You're just playing a few shows this summer, but really nothing else. Are you rich enough now? Is that what's happened? <laughs> no, uh, it's, it's a few things. We, we did like 150 to 200 shows a year for about six straight years. And so we needed a year off uh, to kind of recharge the battery. Um, I'm working on a film score. I, I just had a kid, or my wife just had a kid. Um, and uh, we're making another album, and then we'll kind of hit it hard again next year. But we just needed some time. I was going to congratulate you on becoming a new father. Do you think that's going to change you as a songwriter? I don't know. I hope it doesn't change me too much. Uh, you know, I, there is this kind of fear that you you know you kind of lose your edge when you have kids. You know, I, I still have a little bit of uh, still got a little bit of grit in me. I hope and. Um, the kid's amazing, you know, it's a mind-blowing experience. Congratulations again. I just, one last question. I mean, O Fortune was a, a giant step forward in terms of orchestration and, and a lushness to Dan Mangan. What's the next record you think going to have? I've, I feel like it's really important for me to never make the same record twice. And all of my favorite bands have gone through like drastic sonic changes. And I, I think that people need to feel challenged, you know, like I need to feel challenged. I felt if we, if I was just kind of doing the same thing over and over, I'd get really bored really quick. I feel like as long as you are kind of creatively satisfied, if the gut in your, if your gut is burning, you know, and, and you're feeling like you're, you're pushing your boundaries, then people might like it. And if they don't, you know, at least you did what was right. Well, your track record is pretty outstanding, so I think you're okay. Kind of you to say, kind of. Uh, we're a brand new radio station in Toronto called Indie 88. Will you be friends with us? I would love to be friends with Indie 88. Friends on. Thank you, Dan Mangan. Wonderful. Cheers.